We're gonna react to one of the biggest strength influencers in the space, and we're gonna start right now. So one of the big aspects that I wanna go over is that with influencer media, usually things are just absolutely outrageous. Okay, so we're gonna have influencers that they post these absurd videos and I wrote down in my notes here, they're super clickbaity, right? So you're gonna have, uh, let's just say you've got like four bands and then you've got uh, plates hanging off and then you make these absolute statements that there's no gray area, it's either black or white, you're either with me or you're against me and you make these outrageous claims with these videos and then you claim that these athletes or individuals who have this ultimate physique have been developed from these methods and there's no other way that this could have happened, right? Like that's a pretty standard influencer model across the board and I think that's pretty consistent and then you, you sort of force people to watch these things over and over and over again. And you just say like, look, this is the absolute, there's no gray area, D you know, don't question me. I have these results, I work with this person who's in the NFL or this person who's done this. Look at my results, I'm smarter than you, I use big words, now you should keep listening to me. <laughs> so when we break down these experts online, it's really hard to sift through all of these different things. Okay, and I think that there's even an aspect of fitness where, a lot of us as consumers of fitness, we actually like to watch fitness influencers and pay fitness influencers by buying their programs more than we actually like to train. And like, dude, I'll be fully out there. Sometimes I'm the same person. I like to consume a lot of people's content and see what everybody's doing. And a lot of times we just get stuck in a rut where it's like, well, what do we do next? You know, how am I gonna get better? I'm just gonna keep, you know, looking at all these other examples. And so it's hard to sift through all these things. And most young athletes and coaches know that they don't know anything about a certain area. Okay, so they're like, well, that person seems smarter than me. I don't know that area. And then they're saying, you know, they're training a big time athlete. Therefore, they now have more clout than I do. Therefore, I should listen to them, right? And it's a slippery slope. And sometimes it's reasonable, sometimes it's not. And I think that that's, that's a big thing that we've just got to be aware of and we have to recognize that sometimes we get sucked into that and we tend to feel like man I should I should train like that person because they have you know whoever uh, training on their 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 actual system and I want to try their system and again I've done this myself I've checked things out and ultimately I think it comes down to just learning and, and, and going through this but this is one thing to just continuously be aware of and then there's a time as a consumer we continuously look at this type of content we we consume it for months and months or years and then we realize that we're still not athletic we're still not explosive we still haven't made any gains we're still doing the same weird movements that haven't transferred okay and that's where it brings us into this next individual this person that I've seen on social media for quite a while. I've followed him quite a bit. And I think he's one of the absolute best in this space. And his name is Joey Burgles. I think that's how you would say his last name. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of his awesome posts and some of the stuff that we're gonna see and how he goes through the process. And the cool part with him is that my understanding is I think he's been at Utah State uh, worked with Jordan Love. I think he was in maybe Texas Tech or somewhere else. And I think now he just does like uh, some private stuff, but also works with the local high school where he lives. I don't know his career path entirely, but I have, you know, creeped around and stalked his page for years. And I, I think the big thing here is he shows younger athletes in their patterns. He shows what they're doing. And then he shows how you can sort of do that and how you can apply that with really basic lifts that transfer really well. One thing he does is he continuously uses things like the zombie squat. And I think this is one of the best teaching tools for younger athletes. And so he's gonna show complex movements. He's gonna educate you as a consumer through this so that you can then see that application. He makes it very apparent that it takes time, right? It takes time and it takes cues and it takes execution. So let's get into some of the stuff that Joey does and then let's comment on it and let's see what, what's going on. So right here, he's got this nine-year-old dude Looks like he's doing a, a pistol or almost like a triple jump step up to a point. He's getting down there, works through that full range of motion, tries to get that big drive back up. Look at this, 12 year old girl just busting out pull-ups, dead hang pull-ups too. I'm not sure if this is a, a, okay, 12 year old golfer. And that's the thing too, it's like, this is some of the best stuff that you can be doing with a golfer. 
lat strength, probably some trunk trunk strength in there as well. I want to show he has a so so here he's got youth training priority, full range of motion. If you notice the kid in the there we go, perfect goblet. Here we go with the zombie squats. I think this is like the best way to train athletes in high school. Full range of motion zombies, then transfer as well. Yeah, so this is where I do think he was probably at Texas Tech helping them out. Now, I don't know if this is SMU or just a school uh, nearby. I wanted to point out the kid in the middle there has a little bit of a tight back and it's like just teaching him how to squat properly is going to help him in so many freaking ways. Like literally middle school, high school, post collegiate athletes out there, just squat more. And if you squat more and you do good training and you're doing pause squats, like you're gonna keep getting stronger and you're gonna keep getting more explosive. I want to I want to show one thing I did wonder with that athlete actually these are some freaks that he's trained um, was he was doing like a little drag with that that back leg no plantar flexion which I just I I was wondering about that I like that stuff there's one where love that where he actually shows a before and after vertical jump tip all athletes I've been around who could standing vertical uh, 40 plus all had one thing in common they could full front squat two times their body weight or at least close to it dude fantastic advice yo guys jump higher build up your front squat get a bigger front squat do plyometric works work and you're gonna jump freaking higher um okay i think this is one of the yeah this is one of the kids that i really really liked so you got eccentric hooks, 39 inch vert. Okay, so he had one kid, one kid that was like, I just gotta share this, okay? Where he posted them and he shows like the time and when they when they trained and then their transfer, uh, I think it was these guys actually. Also, Joey, get a garage strength single leg roller. Hit me up and I'll, I'll send you one. Yep. 0.99 flying 10 yard. Great. This kid with a mullet, I feel like he's been in a couple. So this must be, I actually think this is the high school that he's at. This place is crazy. And I, I also always think about too, like, look at all these kids training. Great technique. Ooh. Looks like he's even got flat feet there. Hip switch is tough. Hip switch is tough. Here we go. And this is what I was talking about here. He's got some video back when uh, Jordan Love was in college. Front squatting with a pause, 315. I think this is just one of the things I love about his actual page is one, he's showing someone like Jordan Love front squatting freaking heavyweight. It looks like he did that for a couple different reps, but then also doing some of the unique movements that we tend to see in the clickbaity stuff. And I think, and here we go, pistol squats. And I think when we think about actual training, long-term training, we've got to realize like the basis of everything is going to be some unilateral strength some bilateral heavy movement like a double body weight front squat you know some cleans some plyometrics and that's going to transfer over a long period of time even here some higher speed looks like they're training this possibly could be in season rate of force development emphasis and they're doing the isos in a single leg position and we're doing some mechanic work too as well skips for height be athletic Broad jump into a pogo hop. Nice. 934 flying. Ooh, vert. Great work. I love it. Anyway, I think all of you guys out there that are struggling to, to sift through what you should do in training. Um, right here, you're gonna see some really, really this is the one that I was talking about actually, where um I love the the change in action. Look at that. 
Dude, December for, in 23, dude, I love this. So that's the big factor here is that we can look at this footage, we can recognize that he clearly knows what he's doing and he's got a big buy-in from all of his athletes. They're intense, they wanna execute at a high speed, they wanna execute and freaking put out a large amount of effort, maybe for him, but also because he's a good motivator. He also is a student of the game and he applies it thoroughly. And I think that that's the big concept here. It's not just picking one athlete from here and then one athlete from here and saying everything is all about, you know, what you're doing specifically, nothing else is gonna work. I think it has to come down to how are we applying this? How are we getting better? And make sure that you guys head over to Joey Burgles on Instagram, check out his footage, check out what he's doing in training. I think it will help you. And if you need help with your training, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store or the Apple iOS Store. We've got a strength training app. You can get five, free Free workouts to get on those swole gains because remember freaks if you want to become a champion you've always got to cultivate your power peace